All right, guys, today we're checking out the brand new Mexican made Fender Acoustasonic player. What's up guys, my name is Guillaume. And I'm Chris, welcome. This is uh, a good day for Fender fans because they just released the Acoustasonic Player series, which is the Mexican, the Mexican mate. Yeah. pendant of the Acoustasonic guitars that we all grown to know and love, except that almost half the price. <laughs> this <laughs> which is, which is, uh, this is interesting just... because if you look at these guitars and you listen to these guitars, yes, there's not a lot that's different. We're definitely gonna come back to it like point to point because in terms of construction, in terms of, of feel, of just the quality of the fit and finish, I don't think that Fender's really doing itself a service <laughs> <laughs> right there because these are really, really impressive. At the beginning when we unbox these guitars, <laughs> those are the American ones yeah. and these are the Mexican ones and we were like, we had to Dude, read. We had uh, to read the. Are you the, sure? <laughs> the like, <plate>. What? <laughs> and there are some spots, some points where you can tell, but yep. you can't have to search for them. So yeah, we'll go into specs in a sec. I suggest that we first we can hear those in isolation, and then we'll go into like a comparison with yeah. the other yeah, uh, the sounds sense. that you're familiar with. Okay, you you're start? the, you're the start? no, you're the telly guy. You're the telly guy. By the way. Good, good call, Fender. Starting with <laughs> with the right kind of guitar. Not sure if I agree with that, but <laughs> the best is yet to come. That's no, 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 no. You, you set the bar and then you, you know, try to match it again. So, but I mean, it's so, tally, so, so you know. More playing. Less All right, <laughs> let's start with um, the first setting, which is like position three, yep. I guess, like the the closest to the rest of the guitar, where you get the two most traditional acoustic, acoustic guitar yeah. voicings. You have the tone up with which you can choose one of the voicings, a tone at 10, so to the front, you have a bigger, like a dreadnought kind of yeah. acoustic sound. And if you go to zero on the tone, you have a smaller body uh, tone. So uh, let's listen to those two. Beautiful. Sorry, I didn't want to get in the in the trails. In the trails. Yes, uh, we are using one reverb pedal, yep. which is the Golden UA FX Golden uh, pedal, just to golden. help us enjoy ourselves a bit more. And also, it's you super know, reverb. reverb. Yeah, like, Come on. how could you live without one? Come on. Yeah, because also, we, we're using the reverb also because everything that you're hearing is just coming straight out of the guitar. We're not using any amps, and the speakers that you see behind us are just for reference for us to monitor the different sounds. I, you know, I like it. It's, it's nice, right? <laughs> I like it. It does the acoustic thing of being every guitar you can ever need or want <laughs> in one guitar, and it works well. Now, what I really enjoy about these, and, and the Mexican made ones, the player series, seems to do that as well. It doesn't sound like uh, just a simple piezo pickup yeah. in an acoustic guitar, yeah, 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 yeah. which is something that I wouldn't say ruins the fun, but goes in that direction. I get like, it. Let's say it, you have a really, really nice acoustic guitar. You don't want to mic it on stage because of reasons, of you know the why? Reasons. And then you use the pickup and you're like, oh, I kind of wished I had a mic in front of it. That's and it. with this, because it's just not a simple piezo tone, it uses the pickup and then it has a clever preamp that sort of voices the yeah. tone to sound more natural. It's a more pleasant tone, at least to me, than if it was just a simple 100%. piezo. If, you, if you're using the piezo, it's only going to sound as know, good as a pickup sound. As good sound. as a yeah. pickup sound. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, they definitely hit the spot. 
Um, let's just mention quickly that in terms of hardware, electronic-wise, they're the same uh, pickup, like Fishman develop pickup system. And the noiseless um, uh, magnetic pickup. Yeah, that yeah. you'd find in the American-made guitars. So that doesn't change. Um, we'll go over the woods in a second. I'm gonna yeah. go into position two. You. And that's lo-fi. Lo-fi. Lo-fi clean and, and lo-fi lo crunch. crunch. Let's, let's call it like quiet lo-fi and loud lo-fi. <laughs> loud lo-fi, all the mid-range lo-fi. <laughs> It's nice. I love the middle setting, like 50-50. Yeah. Because it, it has that crunchy mid-range sort yeah, of yeah, nastiness, yeah. but still the clarity of the, the clean side That's of it. That's a really cool trick that, I mean, I'm, you know, it wasn't obvious when they first released the guitar, but the more you go into it, the more you're like, you're happy it's a, it's a knob and not a switch. Yeah, yeah with the blend. Exactly, oh, yeah. Because it's not like six sounds. It's like six <laughs> extremes and then everything in, in between, between those. Them, yeah. That's countless really options, cool. yeah, yeah. All right, um, I guess it makes more sense to try the first position uh, with an electric guitar amp. I mean, I can play it shortly with the, um, just a DI box and yeah, just yeah. straight, but these two settings, A and B, are gonna be the magnetic pickup, which is gonna give you a tally, sort of traditional tone and a, and a fatter, thicker tone, yeah. like kind of a boosted tone. Yeah. So um, this is how it sounds with the DI box. And the volume. And the volume down. <laughs> Which sounds pretty mid-rangey, if you ask me, if we're going straight. But of that's course. exactly how a magnetic pickup would uh, react to uh, like a straight DI box. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's sure. test it with an actual amp as well. In terms of construction, and that was the most surprising thing to me when I was reading the specs about those, like, there's very little change from the American line. Yeah. Like, of course, and you, meant, you were right to mention that before, like, these guitars are CNC made, it's like routed and everything. As so, precise as a guitar can get. Because yeah. it needs to be that precise to get that kind of carved top, and I mean, not carved top, but like top carved into Yeah, and the like guitar. all the binding yeah, and yeah. all the, like the spruce and everything, yeah. But yeah, the, the construction woods are pr almost all the same. Almost all. So, almost which all. means you have a mahogany back and mahogany neck, you have the skunk stripe, you have a solid spruce top, and then the fretboard. And then it's the Rosewood! Yay, <laughs> Rosewood is back in Mexico. Uh, these are Rosewood fretboards, and the American ones have uh, mahogany. ebony. Ebony. Ebony, oh yeah, yeah, true, ebony, sorry. I mean, all the mahogany as well, but not on this side, but the other side. And uh, that's about it. That's the, the actual difference. These are tusk nuts as well. Yeah. Um, so. I'm kind of psyched about it, wow. to be honest. I'm super psyched about the rosewood fretboard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the fret ends are just, like the, the fretboard edges are yeah. super rounded and the ends are super nice and just. <laughs> Actually, I could never ever tell in a blind test which I'm holding. Yeah. Like the neck 
profile, the thickness, the roundness, the edge of the fretboard, the, the actual frets, it all feels exactly the same as the US, because normally a more affordable version, and we're talking about like 1800-ish for those yeah, 18, in euros. Yeah, 18 plus. Yeah. And, yeah, and these are like around 11 yeah. at the moment, 1100, which is uh, a significant difference. And if they feel the same, they look the same, and they sound great as well. But I think that's the right bucket, because that's that, impressive. that was the main complaint that people had when the American ones came out. It's like, okay, it's a custom shop guitar, it's really expensive for like, where is the demand? Like, yeah, like you know, the working be, musician has to really exactly. put a lot of money on the table. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was that was the like the most I would say vocal complaint on the internet when the the American ones came out. Well, here sold. you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about more differences before yeah. we get into the comparison. Yeah. We are planning on comparing the voicings that are available here with, with the, the U.S. version. So uh, first of all, the differences. You don't have a USB charging option. Uh, if you know the American models, you will have the jack. Uh, can you grab maybe one? You have the jack and the little USB uh, micro USB. Is that? Yeah, I think that's yeah, a micro that's, USB. That's the name. Yeah. Um, with which that's you the can. the phone one. It's the phone USB. Um, and you can charge the built-in battery with that. You yeah. don't have this option here. You will have an iWall block battery. Uh, a socket here, yeah. which you don't have on the American one, and you just put your 9 volt uh, rechargeable battery in there if you want to, or just a normal battery. That's the uh, the main difference. Use a rechargeable, save the planet. Yeah, and other than that, I mean, look at it. It's like it's uh, the exact same thing. It's, it's kind of crazy. Scary. Yeah. Anything oh, else? A switch. Oh obviously. yeah. Yeah. Obviously. A very important difference. If you're into all the sounds in the world, you want to get the American one. Those will have five-way switch. Can this you count, one. Can you count that fast? <laughs> <laughs> and these will have a three-way switch with the A-B option on the tone knob. So um, you will get six tones or voicings yeah. compared ten to, to ten on the American one. Uh, yeah, if that's any interesting for you, it's up to you to decide, of course. If you need more information than that, don't know how, don't know why, <laughs> but everything will be linked in the description box uh, as well, where you'll find all the different colors, because you'll find these in butterscotch, in white, in sunburst, and, and in black. Uh, yeah. black. Which is so cool, it's like it's a brushed really nice. metal kind yeah. of. Oh. Let's compare these models to the American counterparts. Right? Yes. Now, I changed guitar. So, Chris is going to be playing the Mexican uh, version, I'll be playing the American version, and we'll be swapping in between the two acoustic sounds and the two magnetic pickup sounds. For the sake of comparison, we'll be using the exact same pick at the exact same <laughs> place in the middle of the sound hall, picking at as much of a consistent uh, rate and strength as we can. And we uh, play simple stuff, like a G chord. A G chord. And just to clarify this, this is not a scientific comparison. This is just like, oh. do they compare even, or is there like a massive difference for whichever reason? Feel science-y to me. <laughs> this is... Okay, so this is gonna be the dreadnought, right? This is a natural, comfortable position for me to play. <laughs> yes, uh, let's start with the, the, the big acoustic. The spruce top uh, rosewood body dreadnought. That's the one. The wooden big guitar. Okay. Not, not much. I mean, you were at tone zero, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, then uh, the small body, which is for me here, and for you fourth and for position. For me fourth position. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You start. Those are closer. The dreadnought, I felt like a bigger difference really? between them. I was going to the, say the there was body. more difference here. Really? <laughs> yeah, well, but I'm, I'm... Perception. Yeah, my speak... Yeah, may, maybe it's my speaker. <laughs> uh, it's the air. <laughs> the air is denser on my <laughs> side. <laughs> it's always. Magnetic? Uh, magnetic, uh, clean. So that's... Unboosted. Uh, zero. Uh, zero. Total yeah, zero. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Stick to the G? Always.
All right, I have my conclusion. Do Please. you have any? Anything As, you after noticed? I heard yours, yes, I will <laughs> have a conclusion. Please go first. <laughs> I would just say the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's a little difference. I'm pretty sure about this, not 100% sure, because the amount of information we can get before a product is released is limited. But all I can see and understand is that this one, the American one, will have this Fishman acoustic uh, enhancer, something in the electronic mm -hmm. that sort of yeah. enhances everything a little bit. It sounds a little... It, it's almost perceived as a volume boost. Yeah. Like yeah. Some, it or felt like, a like a small direct... Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is exactly what I hear. The, uh, the Mexican one sounds uh, just a hint more softer, distanced compared to the US one. Like this feels yeah. super direct. Like it's sitting on the surface of the speaker as you hit the strings. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. you hear all the strings. That's true. And this one is just a little, I don't know, less direct. Which, honestly, if you don't have the A-B comparison, I would have never recognized that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. First of that, and also the fact that we are running just into a DI box. And I know, like, from... I've seen a bunch of people using the Acoustasonic on stage, and usually it goes through a pretty extensive pedal board yeah, uh, yeah. of different preamps and regular pedals and all of the good stuff. So, you know, there's nothing you cannot compensate for. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, exactly. I do agree with that conclusion so far. Wow. So far. Or even if it's not like a massive uh, pedal board, but just an acoustic amp, yeah. which is something most people will use anyhow because it's a great way of monitoring yourself on stage, whether you're playing alone or with a, a bigger band. Yeah. So By the way, you should absolutely subscribe because in a few weeks we're releasing a top five acoustic amps of the year. So, you know, if you want any help with that, mm -hmm. just, just putting it out. There. <laughs> My conclusion is the same. <laughs> I, <laughs> I wow, so, I, we agree, actually agree. I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> agree with everything you said. Um, How is that possible? Well, the thing is they haven't tried to, you know, reinvent what they did with the American one. They just tried to make it more affordable. And as far as I'm concerned, they didn't do it by making concessions on how playable yeah, and how no. comfortable the guitar is. The sounds are different. And I think that, you know, we didn't compare the lo-fi because the American one does not have a lo-fi setting. Which is the middle setting on the But it's such one. a cool, it's such a cool idea. Yeah. Why, I mean, lo-fi music is absolutely everywhere. You've got that like boosted kind of thick lo-fi guitar Mid sound. Yeah. It's just like, it's, it's so interesting. And I, I like that they just like, okay, we're gonna do the same. Just more affordable, and also, here, here's some lo-fi yeah, yeah. for you. The, the fact is like that, that already the third position where you have the dreadnought and the small body yeah. is enough. I oh, mean, yeah. Yeah, what yeah. else would you want to play on stage, right? Those are the two I, kind of uh, acoustic types or body types you would go for anyhow. Yeah. Maybe a, a jumbo, yeah, sure, but to be honest, through a pickup, isn't that all you really need, to be honest? So what I feel... Uh, like they cut some extras with the Mexican one, yeah. but you still have the most important ones and those will not be any worse. It just has a few less options, but you still get everything that makes it awesome. So the prettiness and all the main functionality and the gig bag. Oh yeah, true. Let, wait, sweet, sweet you say bag. goodbye and I'll grab the gig bag. It's... Oh. No pressure. All right. Well, we hope that you enjoyed that video as usual. If so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. Also, if you have questions about acoustic amplifiers, again, this is coming very soon. Uh, this, this is the American one. This is the new uh, Fender Acoustasonic player made in Mexico. It's a cool guitar. Check it out. There's links in the description box down below. Uh, I hope you're all well. Uh, keep making music. <laughs> um, I hope that you enjoyed that video. If so, please. <laughs> Come on, man. How long can it take? And here's the gig bag. Bye. And here's the gig bag. Hit my bag. <laughs>